What's going on, everybody? It's Childish. We're back at it again with the next event update. We got ourselves a monster skill balancing coming up. Yeah, buddy. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. These things come every like two to six months, it seems like. And, uh, you know, when they come out, though, uh, I'm extremely excited because, again, you know, as the game changes, as we get new content, it's always cool to uh, see the meta change and see how new units evolve after the skill balance and who decides to use them, so on and so forth. So, um, as you guys know, with regards to the YouTubers and streamers out there in the community, um, a lot of you guys are sub to them. And, you know, during this time, you're going to have a lot of them um, put out kind of a review on on what the, you know, the monsters you know what you know letting you guys kind of know what what all the monsters going on here but um one of the things that i i did in the past and, and i kind of want to bring back to the forefront is called uh ones to watch right ones to watch and basically what i did was we we, we kind of briefly looked at the list right we kind of briefly looked at the list and then we basically kind of made a notation of with regards to just the monsters you know which is your one to watch which is that dark horse which is that sleeper unit that you think is going to be uh you know kind of like the next big thing so to speak um and so you know obviously um uh you know i, I kind of want to make this into like a little bit of a game i'm looking to get a lot of a lot of positive uh you know feedback from the community as far as their particular unit uh you know what they think it is and and, and um you know go ahead and you know put it in the comment section down below now again uh go ahead and if you haven't already uh, i'm hoping that you have already but go ahead and take a look at this list um, take a look at this list because in about 30 seconds, um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my one to watch. Now, again, uh, keep in mind, guys, that this is just a matter of opinion. There is a lot of units out here that I feel like are really, really good. But again, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for the unit that you can't see, even though it's right in front of your face. I'm looking for that unit that might just make you think otherwise of building it. You know what I'm saying? There's some units out here that definitely have gotten everybody's attention, but um, is there that random sleeper? Is there that random dark horse that no one's even thinking about that could possibly be utilized somewhere in the game today? So, uh, take a wild guess, guys. Which one do you think it's going to be? Which one do you think it's going to be for me? Okay. Uh, and then, as always, if you guys can go ahead and put your sleeper unit and briefly explain, you know, in one or two sentences why you feel it's that one to watch in the comment section down below, um, that'd be super awesome. Okay. So here we go, guys. I'm going to break it to you piece by piece. So we're looking at, we're going to go to the monster collection, and the unit that I'm choosing is going to be fire. It's going to be fire. Any guesses yet? Come on, any guesses yet? All right, okay. Here, here, here comes uh, 18,000 dislikes. <laughs> Because this unit definitely is not something that people are gonna gonna think about. But again, this is just to mix it up, guys. Because we all see these monster balance updates, we gotta we gotta do something fresh for you guys. Uh, this unit is my one to watch. All right, here we go. Boom, Pharaoh, the Fire M champion. Everybody's like, "What are you talking about, bro? That unit sucks." <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Before you smack me in the face. Let's just talk about the skill set, okay? Let's just talk about the skill set, and then you can judge me after that. I appreciate, I appreciate the slap, okay? I appreciate the slap. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, so I'm gonna talk about the skills that it's currently at, and then we'll talk about the changes that are gonna be made, okay? So with regards to all the M champions and spirit charge, okay, you have this skill that's going to increase the attack power for two turns um, if you get a critical hit. Okay, if you get a critical hit. So, um, in addition to that, now it's going to offer the opportunity to uh, put a continuous damage for one turn with a 50% chance. Okay, so that's cool. What we don't know right now is if, if the uh, skill ups are going to allow us to increase that uh, continuous damage. I would imagine it would. I'm hoping that. Um, that you know, maybe it'll let us you know kick it up to like seventy five percent. That'd be great. If it gives us any more, then I'll be I'll pretty I'll be pretty darn shocked. But the fact that you have your self buffing skill, and then you know it's uh, you got a self buffing skill if you critically hit, and then of course you got yourself continuous damage is nice. Okay, next one. Okay, we got a skill that uh, pierces the enemy with the spear and inflicts proportional damage to their max HP. Okay, that is similar. To your Spectra, to your Sigmaris, to your 
Um, the Luna, you guys have seen the Luna that I put out there. So skills that inflicts damage proportional to the max HP um, is pretty unique. And of course, you guys know that we got um, a couple of different um, zones coming out. We don't know if they're ever going to, you know, kind of shine on some of these units that are uh, based on enemies max HP. You know, we're still waiting for that unit. That being said, I'm not really thinking all too much about that. I'm thinking about the concept of what they're going to be changing to the skill. This particular skill for the water, fire, and dark units alike, um, in addition to having this enemy's max HP hit, it's going to inflict continuous damage for two turns if you get a critical hit, okay? If you get a critical hit. So let's go ahead and kind of revert back to this first skill. We already have a skill that is increasing our attack power and then improving, and then of course giving us uh, continuous damage with a percent chance. Um, so the fact that this one um, apl so applies a buff if we get a critical hit, and now we got a new skill that is giving us continuous damage for, for a critical hit. Kind of, kind of goes hand in hand, right? This, this allows us to build this particular unit in a certain way that's going to allow us to maximize on both of the skills, right? So if we build this with a high critical rate, then we're going to be able to take advantage of both of the um, elements of this skill. The old stuff that that it already had the attack power if you get a critical hit, and now uh, with the continuous damage for a critical hit on this second skill, okay? And then of course. Uh, if you thought that wasn't enough, let's look at the skill that kind of ties it all together. Attacks the enemy two times and inflicts damage, continuous damage for two turns with a 75% chance for each attack. Okay, so we got ourselves, um, we got ourselves here, let's see. So, uh, continuous damage for two turns with a 75% chance. This gets changed from a 75% chance to a 100% chance. So... This is going to be a lot more reliable. And then, of course, uh, in addition to what we're already looking at here, obviously you can't see it now, but after the changes, we're going to have, I think, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong down below, but I think this is going to be the first unit, at least the first three-star unit of its kind, that will have the ability to land continuous damage effects for all three turns, okay? All three turns with regards to the change. So I'm, I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to go. I'm, going to, I'm kind of curious to see if anyone plays around with this unit. Uh, because this looks this looks pretty interesting, okay? Um, take note, guys, that if we look at the awakening of it, we, we understand that when, the guard, when it comes to some of the changes on this particular unit, critical rate is going to be a must. You're going to have to have relatively high critical rate um, to go ahead and take advantage of this. And so the fact that this unit already buffs critical rate means it's not going to be as rune dependent, right? You're not going to have to be forced to go crazy just to get that critical rate you know max now this again you know when you think about a unit like this you're probably you know thinking oh i'm probably gonna have to go critical rate you know on four slot you might you might find yourself maybe just doing any kind of a uh, a violent blade you know despair blade or, or something of the sort um you might find yourself that a, like a subset of blade is going to get you the stats you want without having to go that 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 stat on the on the on the on the four slot who knows who knows but uh I find personally that the units that are, um, you know, adding that critical rate are just so much more easier uh, to ruin up because of the fact that they're giving a critical rate. So when I think about a unit like this, three skills, continuous damage, um, three, uh, you know, we got we got ourselves, you know, ability to have that critical rate and then, you know, two skills based off critical rate. Um, this, like, this says to me, like, this is going to be a, a very, very unique unit uh, in the PvP, I'm sorry, PvE world, PvE world. We could talk about... B10 runs, we can talk about um, TOA um, for people that are looking for uh, units that apply continuous damage effects. This this can be pretty interesting. Uh, we'll say take a look here. And of course, let's not forget to mention the fact that this skill, as well as this skill, is going to have a cooldown time of three turns when max. Okay, cooldown time of three turns when max. So again, you know, if you're running a violent set on this, you're definitely going to get quite a few continuous continuous damage effects over time if you're running a, a violent with like a maybe you got the critical rate and then you're running a revenge set on this you know having the ability to have you know tons of additional procs and then of course the count you know opportunity to counter attack and put the continuous damage um it's going to be pretty interesting as well again um obviously this is not going to be a unit that's built as a tank so is this unit going to get hit a lot you know maybe uh, obviously not you know but like i said what, what i'm trying to get what i'm trying to do is try to expand your mind try to think in that in that creative aspect and, and look at these units these unorthodox units that that may not seem all too good on paper and see what you can do what you can bring to the table because again we got ourselves some new content coming out 
uh, with regards to PVE. But more importantly, we understand that, you know, uh, soon and very soon, they're going to be introducing live PVP. And when it comes to live PVP, like I've stated in previous videos, um, we're going to be looking at particular units that are going to allow us to, uh, you know, particular units that we, we build and use in a certain way in certain teams uh, to, to take, you know, to take uh, uh, advantage of, right? To take, uh, to, to be unique, if I'm saying this right. Basically, the other opponent, right? Well, whatever unit we choose, the other opponent can't choose. So uh, because of the fact that we have a lot of units out there that are publicly known as really strong units, a lot of them are going to be going for them. A lot of them are going to be using it. Those TMRs, those Orions, those Rassoons. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are going to be using these units that are very, very common, and that can screw up your team, your composition, if you're relying on a unit like that to be utilized. So when I think about, you know, uh, units like this, or uh, units like this that can be very, very unique in nature when it comes to certain aspects of the game, I, I, I want to go ahead and mention it to just kind of bring it to attention, okay? And so, again, guys, um, I hope you like this this episode of The Ones to Watch, you know, just talking about, you know, what could be a potential dark horse, you know, coming up, changing up. You know, obviously, let's give credit where credit is due. Um, the Kung Fu Girl is making some unique changes. The Hell Lady is making some unique changes. Um, uh, we got, we got, we got a couple of unique, you know, unique things. You know, people are talking about the Polar Queen. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, there's a lot of them out there. But again, I'm, I'm looking for that unique, that dark horse that no one's even thinking about. So again, what is your one to watch? What is your one or ones to watch? Put it in the comment section down below and give a little brief description of why you feel it's going to be strong in the upcoming meta changes after this balance update. All right. That is it, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. It's a pleasure to make these videos for you. As always, it's your boy Childish with Childish Plays. Check it out. Take care, and we will see you next time, guys.